Welcome to Storytime from Space, a project of the Global Space Education Foundation. To learn how you can support this exciting project, please visit storytimefromspace.com. Welcome to Storytime from Space. To all of you kids in school, at home, or at your local library, or wherever you may be, I am Mark Vandehei on board the International Space Station. And right now, we are in the airlock module. You can see some spacesuits on either side of me that we're going to use to do some spacewalks in a couple days. This is my suit, and here's my commander's suit. The book we're going to read today is Next Time You See a Sunset. The author put a note in here that I really like. Never Stop Wondering, Never Stop Exploring by Emily Morgan. And it's, this book is dedicated by the author for my dad, Jim Stevens, my very first teacher. One of the things I really love about this book is the pictures. Like this one too. The next time you see a sunset, stop and sit down for a while. Stay very still and watch the sky change. What colors do you see? Do the colors change? Do you feel the air get cooler? What words would you use to describe the sunset? How does it make you feel? There's another great picture. I love how sunsets change all the time every moment you look at them. Sunsets are some of the most beautiful sights in nature. You might hear people say, the sun is going down, but that's not what is actually happening. Have you ever wondered what is really going on? The earth is turning. Earth is rotating or spinning around all the time. Earth takes 24 hours to make one complete turn. When you see a sunset, your place on Earth is turning away from our star, the sun. Here's a view of, a sun, of the sun from space. And for us in space, we're turning around the, the Earth as well. So we get to see sunsets, but we don't see them every 24 hours. We see them about every 90 minutes. And hopefully, we'll see one together in a little bit. As Earth keeps turning, you see less and less of the sun until finally you can't see it at all. You see the darkness of space. Until the morning when your place on Earth turns towards the star again. We call this a sunrise. But the sun is not really rising. It just looks like it is when your place on Earth turns towards it. The sun appears in the eastern sky every morning and sets in the western sky each evening because Earth is always turning in the same direction. Most globes have arrows near the equator that point in the direction the Earth turns. If you could look back at Earth from space, you would see that the sun lights up half of it while the other half is dark. So while one side of Earth experiences day, the other side experiences night. Along the line between darkness and light are the places on Earth where day changes to night and night changes to day. People in those places are experiencing sunrise or sunset. Here's another great picture. So on the space station, we see a sunset when we're passing from the sunlight into the shadow of the Earth. So find your place on a globe, then find the place directly opposite your city. Just think, when you see a sunset, 
the people on the other side of the world see a sunrise. As you are ending your day, they are starting theirs. In fact, the sun is always rising and setting somewhere on the earth. Earth never stops turning. You can sense Earth's spin during the day by watching where the sun appears in the sky. In the morning, you see the sun low in the east. As Earth continues to turn, you see the sun higher in the sky in the middle of the day. In the late afternoon, you see the sun low in the west. You can also see evidence of Earth's spin by watching your shadow change throughout the day. Have you ever noticed that your shadow looks different in the morning and afternoon from how it looks in the middle of the day? Have you ever wondered why? In the morning, your place on Earth is turning toward the sun. So the sun is low in the eastern sky, making your shadow long. Around noon, your place on Earth is almost directly facing the sun, so the sun appears to be overhead. This makes your shadow very short. In the afternoon, your shadow is long again, but on the opposite side of where it was in the morning. All of this happens because Earth is always turning. You can even sense Earth's turn at night by watching the stars appear to move across the sky from east to west. This picture is kind of neat because they did a time lapse. They took the picture over a long period of time and so all the light showed up wherever it was. So the stars moved in a circle and the camera kept track of that circle. That's reminding me that a sunset's coming up really soon. The colors of a sunset can be spectacular. During the day, the sky is blue, but during a sunset, the sky changes to beautiful mixes of orange, pink, red, and yellow. Have you ever wondered why? As your place on Earth turns away from the sun, the sunlight has to travel a longer path through the Earth's atmosphere to get to your eyes. This causes the light to scatter, and only the longer light waves which are shades of red, orange, and yellow, make it through to your eyes. So, the next time you see a sunset, remember that at that moment, your place on this big ball of rock called Earth is turning away from our beautiful star, the sun, into the darkness of space. Stay very still as you watch the sun slowly go out of sight, and know that this is happening because Earth is turning. Isn't that remarkable? So let's go see a sunset from space.
Thank you for joining us for Storytime from Space. We hope you enjoyed our story today from the International Space Station. We hope you'll join us again soon for another book reading or for one of our science experiments. Until next time, we look forward to reading together again soon.